The Spartan Shield shows you how to make a pumpkin candle, made by Lily Feldman and Jenna Rucolo. The materials you'll need to make the pumpkin candle are a pumpkin, a large knife for cutting the wax, a spoon, a smaller knife, knife, a fork, tongs, aluminum foil, and candles. And make sure you have an extra wick or a wick that's been taken out from the candle, which you can also do during boiling. Thanks, Jen. So here, Jenna is tracing a shape for her to carve out of the pumpkin. It looks a little bit like a flower. <sighs> Next, you'll start carving the pumpkin. So now it's time to take the top off. So now we're gonna use a spoon to scrape out the insides, just like you would with a normal large pumpkin. Alright, so now the pumpkin is basically hollow, and there is your final pumpkin product. <laughs> now we go to making the candle wax. You're going to take some aluminum foil and you're going to form it into a little bowl slash boat that you're going to put into the boiling water. Make sure that the water won't be able to get into it. So now you'll need a candlestick. And since it's too big to fit into the boat, you're gonna have to cut it in half. Unless yours fits, then you don't have to. Like here. Now you have your two candlesticks. Now we're going to use tongs because the water is going to be hot because we're going to start boiling. <laughs> so now we are boiling water for our candlesticks. You can turn it as high as you want because it doesn't really matter since the wax isn't in direct contact with the water. Okay, so now we're gonna take the tongs and we're gonna grab onto the aluminum foil and since our water's hot, like it doesn't have to be boiling, as long as it's close to boiling, we're gonna stick it into the pot and so it'll float. And so now it's just gonna sit in there while the water boils underneath it and it's gonna melt. The candles are beginning to melt. Keep stirring them around. Okay. So now that the candle's melting even more, the wick has come out, and so you will use that wick to put back into the candle, or back into the pumpkin, when you pour the wax in. Look at it! <laughs> so now we're gonna turn off. Jenna's going to use her tongs and carry it. So now we're going to pour the wax into the pumpkin.
So this part looks a little complicated, but it's not. So you're gonna use a fork and then put the... There you go. So and that just basically keeps the wick from going to the side and then you can cut off the excess at the end. So now you have your final product.